Hey guys, so today I'm going to have a bit more of a chilled out video because today is going to be a blah, a vlog vlog. <laughs> um, I haven't done this type of video in a long time and I know some of you enjoy it and have requested it so I'm just going to be telling you a bit about what's been going on. So first of all I've had the windows open for hours and I'm freezing so I'm keeping nice and snug in this blanket right now and I have my tea which means we are all set. So I guess the main thing that's been happening in my life is as you know we moved house into this new house and we're having a little bit of trouble with the neighbours and it's been quite a few months since we've moved in and we've never had a problem. You could always hear them like shouting through the wall and it's like an elderly lady and her son and her son must be in his 40s, 50s um, so she's quite old really and um, we always used to hear her shouting swear words although recently it has been directed at myself, my mum and the neighbours the other side. Now for some reason this old lady um, likes to be very violent and abusive to what it seems to be like is anyone sort of near a house. I think my mom must be a trigger for her anger because as soon as my mom pulls up on the drive she's there at a window calling my mom a thieving shithead and told her to go and get a day job. Now I have to laugh because it's just, I've never been in a situation where you have to deal with people like this. But it turns out we spoke to the neighbour, apparently she's been, you know, throwing stuff over the over the fence into their garden, uh, she bangs on the walls, which is what she does here, she um, threw a garden spade, like one of the big ones at, this, at the woman's head, and it did hit her. And a couple of days ago, at the start of this week, she threw scalded hot water over this woman who was visiting the house um, to sort of let their puppy out and everything. And then threw like wet tissue all on a car and covered a car in wet tissue. We had the police come round and talk to us a few days ago. And uh, like we always presumed that she had mental health problems because she was just a bit mad. We heard the police lady talking to the woman next door, the crazy lady. She was saying that she was she was talking normally, which I thought okay. Um, and then she was talking about how um, she's sick of the neighbours coming into her house and thieving things and making it a mess and messing everything. It's clearly insane. I have never ever talked to that woman. I've never been in her house and I wouldn't know how to get in her house. And I don't think anyone would want a thief from her. There you go, she's banging now. She's insane. So anyway, I'm in bed this morning. And very recently this week she's been playing two songs over and over and over and over and over again till very late. And then this morning I woke up at 3.40 in the morning because I heard her shouting out of a window. She was proper going off on one, thieving sheets, blah blah blah, bastards, blah blah, going off on one. And I woke up obviously. And then she must have done something and then slammed a window shut downstairs. And I was thinking, first of all, why is this woman awake? Number two, what the hell? No one's even around or awake to even get on her nerve, so what's going on? Um, so I sort of left it for a bit and was just listening. She did it again, so I ended up ringing the police. I swear I get the worst of luck when it comes to neighbours. Oh, now I've let that out, let's move on to other things. I started a business and admin course, it's a level two, um, to sort of do alongside while I'm at college doing accountancy. It was online and I did it in, in less than a month actually. It's sort of assessment based, so they just mark your assessments and then after you've completed all the units, you've passed. Um, and I think it's really good actually because a lot of it's free, if, whether you're working or not, I think it's just specifically the UK. Um, and it's called Vision to Learn. So if you just sort of check that out, I think it's really good. They only do about five or six different courses, but to be able to do it for free and it doesn't take long at all, I definitely think it's worthwhile. I have to say I'm a little bit of a geek when it comes to education. I think if it's there for free, um, then go for it and get more qualifications to put on your CV. Can't hurt, can it? Now, not too long ago, a subscriber of mine contacted me. Her name is Nikki, and she has a company, if you like, called Love and Family Designs. She sent me, like, a link to her website and everything. I had a look, and I really loved the stuff. It was, like, 
picture frames but they were personalised and they were really sort of cleverly personalised um, and she actually offered to do me a picture for free so I'm just going to show you that now um, I wanted it to go over my room like teals and stuff and she did it really well and the basis of it is you sort of just choose so many le uh, so many words sorry and then she sort of puts them into a shape and so I gave her a list of like 20 words and she put them into a shape for me can you see that it it's kind of I did it sort of to do with my relationship so there's Lisa there's Chris our anniversary date um, just loads of different words and they're all in sort of teals um, greens as grey and they're in a really beautiful frame um, as you can see it's pretty big actually but um, I really love it it's so nice I do really love the stuff I think it's great for like gifting you know even anniversaries you know presents for mums I think it's really good and there's loads of different options on there like um, you could have just like the stand up frames, the stuff on the wall, I think she does like little cards and things but everything is personalised and which I actually really prefer personalised things just because they look a lot more nicer and like they mean a lot more but yeah the company is Love and Family Designs and they also have a Facebook page so definitely go and look at it, all the information will be down below now if you were to purchase that particular frame and um picture thing that I have it would have cost £25 which I don't think is bad at all I kind of really wish I had something super exciting to tell you but um I kind of don't um in terms of what I'm doing at the moment as I said I am doing my AAT course which finishes in June and then hopefully I should be employed because I'm really quite sick of being at home all the time as I said on Facebook my birthday is coming up I am going to be 20 on the 12th of May and then the day after is mine and Chrissy's one year anniversary May is going to be pretty busy and then it's Chrissy's birthday towards the end of May I'm super excited for my birthday but Chris has booked a hotel he won't tell me where it is I don't know where I'm going really didn't know what to ask for for my birthday because there's nothing that I want like because I don't have as much money now as I used to I sort of only really buy the things for myself that I really need so I like tried to ask for people for stuff that I would normally buy just to save me buying it but I was told no and to pick things that I wanted so I created the longest list ever to give everyone options so I'm not entirely sure what I'm getting for my birthday um, so it'll be a surprise I did put a load of clothes and things on there. Lately I've been feeling really kind of unattractive, I guess, um, and fat and frumpy. I think it sort of just stems around like, because I go to college, but I don't sort of dress up for it like a lot of the people there do. And I think I find it quite intimidating um, when I've sort of done myself up and I've got nice hair and I've got makeup on. I tend to have a lot more confidence so when I don't and I've just got you know plain clothes on I don't wear makeup to college and I just sort of do whatever with my hair I feel really self-conscious and that's sort of portrayed not only at college but into the rest of my life it's a bit like anxiety I guess I feel like everyone's sort of judging me and looking at me and thinking horrible things about me and I know that's really ridiculous but I can't help it at the moment I'm trying to change my image to be more to put in more effort I guess so I haven't been able to buy myself clothes in months and months so I asked for a load of clothes for my birthday because <sighs> to just try and make me feel better I guess I didn't really want this video to be sort of glum and gloomy but um, I don't know why I've, I've gone like it I think I'm really conscious of my weight at the moment because I've put on weight since January um, not a great deal really but um, I feel like I can notice it more um, and like a lot of you asked me to do the weight loss series things and like honestly I've, I'm not in the right frame of mind to do anything like that I'm not losing the weight I'm not making the choices to even be this role model to give you advice on how to lose weight because I'm not following it myself for now I'm just kind of working on making myself happy I guess um, like some days I can have like really good days like really happy days and then other days I can feel really really depressed and to be honest I think the main factor is just the lack of money um, 
I miss working, really. I mean, I'm stuck in the house. I can't really go anywhere because that'll leave me to spend money. Um, I can't go out as I'd like to. I can't pay for things. Like when me and Chris go out, I can't pay for as much as I would like to. Um, it's, it's like, it's quite depressing. Like, I don't see my friends. I haven't seen my friends for... I usually only, want, only see one girl lately. And the last time I saw her was New Year's. Um... I just get a bit embarrassed that I sort of don't have a job and I don't have the money um, and I don't want to have to explain that to people because it's, it's embarrassing. I'm positive though that when, you know, I've done this college course I should be like finding it really easy to get a job so fingers crossed for me please everybody. I'm sorry if that was a little bit sort of depressing but um sometimes it's good to just talk about things it like makes me feel but i'm actually getting it off my chest which is great apart from that nothing particularly exciting has been happening in my life um i have another set of extensions to review for you and these are from luxy <laughs> um which a few of you asked for and they very kindly agreed so um very shortly there'll be another first impressions of hair extensions video up i haven't looked at them yet but they've been sitting there for ages um and then i have another company sending me a wig i think if it ever arrives um Hey ho, um, if there is any other videos you want me to do, I want to do a FAQ video but I'll post um, a video very soon so you can submit your questions then, so for now just thank you questions. Um, I'm going to be doing some videos of Chris very soon so if you do have any recommendations, requests for that, please do let me know. Apart from I don't want to do the boyfriend tag or the girlfriend tag, anything else is fine. I think that's all from me, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, I do really enjoy just talking to you guys but um, let me know what you thought anyway down in the comments. Anything I mentioned in this video like links and stuff will be in the description box. Um, yeah, apart from that, have a lovely day. Don't forget links to my Facebook, Instagram and Tumblr are down below. So if you want to come over and follow me, that would be awesome. Apart from that, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.